What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, and funnily enough, we've got a brand new portal that's just opened up in the midst of the Alliance Quest Summon and the Seasonal Summon. Uh, we've got the Legend Summon as well now. Um, and it's brought with it a brand new hero from the Champions family. And it's this guy, Norman. Uh, so we definitely want to have a look at this guy and see what he's all about. Um, and we've got a brand new costume for Thoth Amun, um, and he's just looking insane. Uh, so we're going to have a look at him today as well. Um, this is the second hero that we've had featured from the Champions family. Um, and the, the first one, Satori, was an absolute beast. Um, in fact, uh, one of my alliance mates has got him leveled. I think it's here. Um, and just look at that monster. I mean, all of those passives and that special is just insane um, and a lot of nostalgia with this guy as well. So I'm hoping that Norman, uh, despite the normal sounding name, Normal Norman, um, is going to be uh, more of the same. So anyway, uh, let's get into it. So uh, we've got a fire hero. He is of the fighter class. So, uh, you know, right off the bat, that's a pretty decent class. So, you know, I'm happy about that. Uh, the family bonus for these champions family heroes is the increased special skill damage. Um, so if you've got one hero, it's an increase of 30%. Up to three heroes, we don't even have three yet, um, but then you'll get up to 70% additional special skill damage, which is always good as long as they're dealing damage as part of their special skill. Um, now, he also gets this triple passive uh, that we saw with Satori. Um, so his first passive is going to be the Mana Generation Ailment Protection. Uh, so all status ailments and negative stacks that affect Mana Generation are replaced by an increase of 30% Mana Generation for three turns. Now it doesn't apply to status ailments that stop Mana or steal Mana, um, but that is still an absolutely brilliant passive. Um, so any reduction in mana generation is going to be replaced by an increase. So just watch out. <laughs> watch out for normal Norman. Now he gets this mana on taunt passive as well. Uh, so each time an enemy receives a taunt status effect, uh, his mana is increased by 10%, uh, which probably can come in useful. But I mean, generally I spend most of my time trying to stop the enemy getting their taunt going. Uh, but if it does happen to happen, um, or if you're going up against him with an attacking team with a taunt hero, just bear in mind that when you cast that taunt, he's going to get 10% mana just like that. Um, so that's a pretty decent passive as well. Um, and then he ignores taunt also. Um, so his special skills not affected by taunt. So this is the second time that we've seen this. Obviously with the hero of the month, we've seen this uh, quite recently. Um, and this is, I think, the first time we've seen this on a featured hero in another portal. So um, his special skills not affected by taunt. I do like that passive, uh, but it all depends. It all hangs on what does Norman actually do. Um, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Just before we do, I want to run over his stats. So as you can see, he's running a team power of 993. I said we were going to have to wait until the end of January to get up to the thousands, but I don't think so. I think it's going to come well before that by the looks of it, because we're getting close. I mean, there's only seven points in it, maybe in the next portal. Who knows? Um, so his attack is at 1,013 Defense 992, so might as well be a thousand. Um, and the health at 1685, so nearly 1700 on the health. So just absolutely insane stats. Um, if we do go ahead and second limit break, we're looking at 1358, 1350, and 2211. So while they are insane, they are also very balanced, um, very well balanced. So, so far, he's ticking all the right boxes in terms of the class, the family bonus, all those passives, um, the ignoring taunt. Um, and then I can see this, this little ether talent icon, this knight's endurance. That's something uh, that I haven't seen before. So at the start of each battle, he's going to get 15% chance to drop any received damage to one for six turns. Man, that, that is just insanely good. 
Um, so I would definitely second limit break this guy because it's, it's a black knight effect. It's not quite as much, so it's not that 50% chance. Um, I know Satori also is running a similar effect, but part of his special. Um, but that is just insane as an ether talent. So I would I would count that as another passive. So this guy, I would say, has four passives. Um, and the family bonus is just awesome as well. Um, so let's move on to his special skill. This is what we all want to know. So what does this guy do? Um, his special skill is called Unstoppable Charge. Um, and if you if you have a look at him uh, in the portal, he's like a horse minotaur type dude. Um, but he's a knight, which is just odd, um, but also strangely cool. Um, so Unstoppable Charge. He's running at average speed. Now this special skill ignores dodge effects. So he ignores taunt, he ignores dodge. Is there anything that you can stop this guy with? I mean, it doesn't seem like it. Um, all allies then get a 100% chance to bypass defensive buffs with their attacks for four turns. Uh, this will include counter attacks. Um, so that is pretty damn decent. Um, and then he deals 285% damage to all enemies. Okay. So this guy's fallen down a little bit with this special because to be honest, I don't think that this is quite as impactful. In fact, it's definitely not as impactful as a lot of other heroes that we have in running at average speed. Um, but what he is doing is he's an insanely good support hero. So I think that you really need to synergize him. You really need to match him up with other heroes that can take advantage of that bypass. Um, so going up against the counter attack. Um, and also against that, um, the, the taunt, the fact that he ignores taunt, the fact that his special ignores dodge effects. Um, so you can still get a pretty decent hit off. I mean, 285 damage to all is pretty good. Um, I would say that because of his increased stats, um, you're going to be, you're going to be seeing quite a lot of damage coming from that. But I would say that it's probably going to be about the same as somebody like, um, not, not, maybe maybe kill hair esque if you were to limit break um so like about 300 to 320 maybe for some of the older heroes um but yeah it's still going to be a, a pretty significant hit um but this guy it really shines in the fact that he ignores those dodge and those taunt effects um so he's a bit more of a tactical type of hero um, but he's just not in the same realm as, as good old Satori in terms of that special. That's a little disappointing in terms of the damage. So, um, yeah, I like everything else, though. I think maybe just a little bit more damage, um, and, and, and that would be absolutely insane. Um, one thing I can say which is cool as well is that it doesn't chain through the enemies, so it means that you're going to hit all of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a pretty decent hit, don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm, maybe I'm expecting a bit too much from these heroes now um, that they're releasing. But yeah, I, I'm going to go out and I'm going to say I, I'll give Norman an A because I think just because of everything else that he's doing, um, where do I think he would be best used? Um, I think he's quite versatile, so you can definitely pop him in as part of a defensive team because he is just going to be difficult to deal with because of the passives. You're going to forget about at least one of them, uh, whether it's the mana generation uh, where you try and reduce his mana and he suddenly becomes a fast speed hero out of nowhere, um, whether it's the mana when you cast taunt and then he's ready to fire off, um, or whether it's you know, this knight's endurance where he's going to drop the received damage to one. So because of all of those passives and things like that that are going on, I'm going to give him an A um, because I think he's good. Um, but he's not going to quite get into the A+. Plus. And with my gradings, I would go to A+. Plus. I know some go to S tier and things like that, but I'm not super, super clever like that. So <laughs> that's pretty much where I stop. Um, so, yeah. I think that he's a great hero, and congrats if you do manage to pull Norman. Normal Norman is is going to be quite a good hero for you guys. So um, now let's move on to the newest of the new. Now we do have this ability to choose the hero again, which I absolutely love. Um, and I think just as a little tidbit, if you are thinking of choosing any of these other heroes here, um, I would probably look at Zim Keitha. 
um, the costume version of Zinkitha because obviously the stat bonuses are massive. Um, but that priority dispel really, really comes in handy. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend Zinkitha. Um, now, with Thoth, um, let's just look at the old version first of all. So um, he gets the family bonus, uh, which is an increase in mana generation. The 2017 family bonus is insane um, because you get an increase in mana generation for all heroes. Uh, for any of you who managed to pull um, Costume Athena or who did go for Costume Athena in the... Um, in the not the fated some of this the soul exchange recently um i would seriously consider thoth moon if you don't have another 2017 family uh, hero uh, because then you can get that up to 10 percent or even 15 percent mana generation for all heroes um the bonus for two or more heroes is that that element link affects all allies as well um so it's a decent really decent family bonus that increase um, as you can see, they've beefed up his stats. So without the limit breaks, we're looking at now a team power of 932, uh, which means, again, it means he can hang with the big boys. Um, so he was of the sorcerer class. He's now going to be a wizard. Uh, so instead of the delay, he's going to get the jinx. Not really a huge, great difference between either of those. So I think it's um, neither really here nor there. Um, he does get this new passive, though. Um, so when he casts his special skill, they dispel the newest effect buff um, from all enemies. I really like that. Um, so the passive is great. And in terms of the special, so his old special was the Skeletal Summon, uh, running at fast speed. And he dealt 280% damage to the target and nearby. So a hit three, uh, which now with those increased stats is actually quite a bit more relevant. He the, the then summoned an undead minion for the caster and nearby with 25% HP and 15% attack. Uh, so pretty beefy minion, but very low attack. Um, the element link was a 10% mana generation for all dark allies for four turns. Um, and again, as I've mentioned, uh, with the family bonus, the element link can affect all allies. So um, I think that he's probably quite a bit more usable now with those boosts um, in the stats. Um, and this version benefits from the Revive Ether talent. Wah, don't like that one so much um, because <laughs> it's so difficult to kill a hero within the first four turns um, unless you get lucky. Um, now let's move on to the costume and let's see where he differs. So he's now going to be dealing 300% damage to the target and nearby enemies. So a, a definite increase in terms of the amount of damage he's doing. Um, and they have increased the attack uh, their they favored attack over defense um, and HP. Um, he summons an undead minion for the caster and nearby with 22% HP and 22% attack inherited from the caster. Um, so you've got a bit more damage and you've got a bit beefier minion um, and you've got that passive which is the dispel. Um, so I think if you put all of those together, he's going to be a pretty effective fast speed damage dealer um, and the minion is the little meat shield that you're gonna get that little bit of extra bonus. Um, so I think he probably would be good in terms of tournaments like the bloody battle uh, where he's doing damage and he's also summoning the minion plus he's dispelling. Um, the ether talent for the, for the costume version is much better than this one. Uh, the bulwark effect where they get an increase of 15% um, defense and a further 1% increase every time they hit during six turns. That is much better as well. Um, and then the class, actually, just thinking about that, um, he has this chance to deal extra damage per each active buff the enemies have. I'm not sure whether that will trigger um, before or after he dispels the buffs. Um, if it's before, then I think that that's a much better talent class for him, um, just with that, with that extra passive that these heroes now get. Um, so yeah, what do I think of Thoth? I think he is a solid hero. He's not an absolute game changer, um, but he will pair up well with other heroes. And I think he's far more of a good attacking hero than he is defensive. Although that passive does mean that he could probably fit in on a defensive team. So I'm going to say probably like I'll give him a solid B plus as he is right now. Don't hate me. I do think that he's a good hero. Um, 
but yeah, I do think that there are some better heroes in 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 this portal um, that we that we're seeing here. I don't know why they haven't decided. Oh, they do feature the costume for Lacey. Okay, that's pretty cool. And for Drake Fong, um, not Russell. Clarissa doesn't have one yet. Um, but yeah, Zim Keith is just an absolute beast. I would take her um, over over Thoth the Moon. I'm afraid. Um, and Evelyn, who's also available in here with that um, elemental defense down against nature, is absolutely brilliant. Um, and she's got a dispel, and her passive is a cleanse. Um, so that means that you get the best of both worlds if you do take this hero. So, yeah, I'd probably set it up for most people like it is here, I think. Um, or potentially something like that uh, when you're doing your pulls in this portal. Um, so guys, good luck in the in the legends in in the legends summon. If you are going to be dropping some tokens in here, um, and enjoy the event. I think the Tavern of Legends is just one of my favourite because it it lets you use your whole roster. So um, yeah, please do drop us a like and also subscribe uh, if you find the videos helpful. Uh, like I said, I do really appreciate all of your support. Um, and do drop me a comment and let me know what you think of normal Norman. I'd be deaf. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on this guy. Um, so that's it for today. Um, until the next time, I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.